uh, there's a popular saying in Africa among African families, and it says that child upbringing uh, has transcended ages. Uh, this saying has transcended ages, is that uh, it takes a village to raise a child. Uh, put differently, a child is owned by all. Although this has been interpreted to mean that raising a child is the responsibility of all members of a community. It has also become a huge weight on the backs of African children who feel indebted to the community uh, whom joined hands with their immediate family, of course, to raise them. Some even go over and beyond to make sure that in success or squalor, they provide immense support, not just to their nuclear family, but also to the extended families and beyond. And of course, uh, joining us to have this conversation this morning is Mr. Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. So uh, let's start this way. Uh, it's called the black tax. Yeah. So uh, you expected to do some handouts to your nephews and nieces, your younger ones. Uh, people that you grew up with, childhood friends, expect some level of uh, support or help from you, especially when you're the one who's been able to break the glass ceiling and, you know, you seem to be making it. Unfortunately, nobody takes time to actually understand your situation financially or, you know, affluence-wise, but um, they help you to count your money and then decide that it should be enough to reach everybody. The black tax. Uh, somebody sang a song sometime, I think four or five years ago, and he said, Phone the ring, na family they call. <laughs> <laughs> if no be bill, na money or something, something, you understand. And we had Mikalobi, uh, the great Mikalobi, come out some time ago to complain, you know, about the sense of entitlement that family members have. Nobody actually asks you how you're faring. Uh, but they assume that, I mean, you're Mikalobi, you should be able to share some of that euros and pounds to the rest of the family. How do you react to this black tax as it is in the African uh, setting? Okay, uh, you know, black tax is, is the main of it, you see. There's, there's a responsibility that people have been given mm. when we are growing up. It's normal. Even some persons in some ethnic tribes that I won't mention will be like, I'm not also ethnic tribe. You already understand the responsibility and who we are. Mm -hmm. in position. So the fact of it is, it mostly affects Africa because uh, we grew up in a communal system, you see. When we were growing up, we grew up among ourselves. Mm. Mommy, daddy, brothers, everybody grew up together. together. So everybody did help everybody. So that's what causes it. So that sense of responsibility is there. Mm. And you know, with the way age and time is changing, so we are not changing with it, that's when you now maybe break the financial ceiling, you are mm -hmm. begin to empower. Then they look at it that it is your responsibility now to take care <laughs> because you have that position. Mm -hmm. And it has adverse effects, you know, mentally, socially, because someone just calls you and in your mind, even though it is not, you already think that, okay, this person, it won't be me. <laughs> 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 so it really, really, really affects everybody. Yeah. So, so in every family, they just put it in your mind from a very young age mm. that, okay, if your brother is so, 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 you are going to help him. Some mm -hmm. parents will even tell you that I'm sending you to school, not because of I want you to make it in life. So when you have made it in life, you, you will help, help your brother. Yeah. That one to help the next one. The next one. So the thing is really, really affecting the way our community is growing. Mm -hmm. So you see, some people just believe, especially they will mostly create the example of analogy in our Hollywood movies. You see that? Mm -hmm. So persons will just say, Ah, my brother is not a chief. Me, I'm not working. Ah, what is he a chief for? Will just be taking care of me like that, like that, like that, like that. So mm -hmm. the adverse effect is really as on our community is something that we cannot even define. Mm. That is what I feel about that. Okay, so while we understand that our fathers that created this system uh, had the good of everybody in mind, right? It was supposed to be positive. Where I'm from, um, we have a system that works. So you learn a uh, handwork and you serve your master for a couple of years, four, five, six, seven years, depending on the agreement. And your master settles you, it is your responsibility to go back to the village and get one or two or three other boys that will come with you and serve and you will settle them and it continues. That's very positive, yeah? Um, that is just one example. I'm sure that other tribes have something like that that works for them, but in their own way. Uh, where I'm going to with this is, 
you just made an example of you know someone that his brother becomes a chief and he decides not to work it it it, it, it creates a thin line between being communal sharing love and you know that community spirit that we all have and then exploitation how do you differentiate what is and what is not because the expectation is there even you that the expectation is on you you already know that you owe this to your family but how do you now know when your family has moved from you know being in that position to exploiting you because you will agree with me that we have had uncles and aunties who have been exploited and it's not nice we must call it what it is it's not yeah you see it is something like i said we have the sense of that responsibility mm. when you start to notice the exploitation is when you try to establish the person and the person doesn't want to stand see some people when you try to hold them to work Mm. They just want you to continually hold in them. Mm -hmm. They won't leave your hand and want to walk by themselves. Mm. Because then you know that expectation comes in. And you see, that's when you start seeing different things happening. So when, like in the movies, most times, that's how they do it. You say, ah, you know, he has wife now. His wife that is giving him these oh. ideas. So He's the husband <laughs> that is giving him these kind of ideas. But yeah. the real truth is that this person has reached the level where he can't take it anymore. So he's just like... Mm. All these things I'm doing, I'm not doing it for yourself. I have mm. a family, I have my own life, I have my own situations to face. You know, life is not all about the money that we see to it. Mm -hmm. You just call your brother and the next thing he knows, he knows that you just want to ask him money. Mm. You cannot just like call him to say, ah, plus, I, just, I just want to check up on you, you know, how are you doing, how is life treating you, mm. something, 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 something. The next thing you're going, ah, my school fees, my book. <laughs> and you know, it's going to get stressed. It is just normal. Yeah. So, what I think that we should do is that, like the example you gave, that is how it is. That is communal living, but now mm -hmm. you turn it to a taxation system or a policy that once you get this certain amount of money, you just give this, 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 mm -hmm. this, and that. And it's most common to help on children. You know, they are not that mm. that's, that's a whole nother kettle of fish yeah. that will eventually get to unfold, yeah. The ones that suffer the most, especially when they are the first to taste success, they just, they just believe. You see, I have some certain friends that will be like, eh. Because if I get brother where I did take care of, like, it's, it's your parents, are they not doing anything? Exactly. What do you mean that you have, when you get to some certain age that you start making money, I meant to use the money to take care of yourself and secure your future. Mm -hmm. you taking care of your younger brother. So, mm -hmm. but you know, different understanding is what we have. Mm. So that understanding is what is the next thing I would want us to talk about. Like I mentioned in my earlier submission, you know, I started with things that our fathers that started this system had the good of everybody in mind. And we're Africans, we're not lazy people. An average African person is a hard worker. Do you understand? Is it that you are a, fisher per a fisherman or you are a farmer or you have um, hand work, you, you, are, you are a smith, either metal smith, goldsmith or something, or you are a miner. There is always something that every community is known for. In essence, we they work, right? <laughs> And when these systems were created, it is for each brother to support the other brother in their work. So you must be doing something first before you, de, uh, you, you, you start thinking like you deserve that type of support from your firstborn son or, you know, for your children or you as a second child or third child from your older brother or your older sister. What do you have in your hand? So how did we miss it? Who is it that we did not pass down this information correctly, right? Because you have people who say, my brother is a judge, so I don't need to work. And it's a sense of entitlement, you know, that, that understanding. And I'm saying this because you said we all have different understanding. But if this system, if we call it what we, what we, what, uh, a communal system that we all grew up with, then we should better understand how it works. So who passed down this information wrong? How did we get it wrong? From what point did we start getting it wrong? I, I can't pinpoint who did pass down mm. this information wrong. But what I do believe, or I think, was the misconception there was, you know, the age gap between children. Mm. When in Africa we started having age gap between children, like eight, nine years. So those that were older with those nine, ten years, you saw the younger sibling as a child. So, so that sense of 
child will do that. Mm. Keeps in, and that person keeps in himself too as a child. He just <laughs> believes that ah, if I want to collect financial freedom, it will be like I'm rebelling against my other brother. So that is the side. That's what started the sense mm. of entitlement. Mm. So you see, in our family, sorry to just make an analogy, yes, we are yes. not really older than ourselves so much. So my own immediate elder brother is just like two years older than me. So I cannot expect anything because in everything, in education, is just two years away. Mm. So it means after education, if he starts working, it's just two years away. So I cannot expect anything more than <laughs> what he can give from yeah. me. So the best he can do is that, okay, this is what I'm doing. How can you support him? Mm. Okay, I have 50,000. I want to start a business of 50,000. How much are you willing to support? Mm. And I say, okay, since it's 80,000 outside the business, I can support you with 100,000. So you have something to fall back on when you make that mistake, you see? So that is where you miss this. People stop putting things in their hand because yeah. some people are treating them like children and they were just so comfortable with being children. Everybody wants to be a child. You know, that's what I said, adults will not scam. So <laughs> I be a child is not scam. Is it really adults. scam? Adults will. Ah. Depends on the person. For me, I don't see it as scam, you know, mm. because of the way I grew up. <coughs> I don't like, I don't, maybe it's my person, I don't like being told what to do. Mm -hmm. You know, when we're young, Especially when you have parents that are, you know, somehow financially stable. Okay, you, know, you can't wear this dress. I don't want to buy it. You can't dress like this. You can't do this. So when I started growing up, I started making decisions for myself. I study what I want to study because that is what I want to study now. Mm. Because I, hey, I can tell my daddy, you have, maybe you say study this. I'm not saying this. I have money to pay my school fees now. This is what I want. You can't yeah. tell me. The best you can do is advice me. So for me, I don't think it's a scam.